Do you know that your buzzer has a boner noise? Oh. <laughs> is that intentional? Um, it came in a box of four and that was my favorite sound, so. And usually it would just come out like. Jessica, rabbit boner. Okay, yes, ready. Very specific boner, Lindsay. <laughs> <sighs> Hello! Welcome back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Amp. And I'm Lindsay. And today, we're gonna get peculiar with some paraphilias. Today, I have the wonderful sexologist Lindsay Doe. If you don't know who this is, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Check out Sexplanation. So, Lindsay and her band of sexplanauts, is that gender specific? Sex planeteers are the general audience. Sexplanauts are the ones who pay me. Patreon! <laughs> So today, I wanted to have some fun. We've been having this series of like games and game shows on the channel. <laughs> because we wanna have fun with the sex that we're talking about. <laughs> and so today I figured, while I know a lot about paraphilias and the different ones that do exist, I definitely don't know all of them. Is it safe to say that you don't know all 549 paraphilias that exist in the DSM? Or all the people out there who have their own kinks that haven't been translated from Latin into philias. I definitely don't know Latin. But I do know how to feel things. Um. Feel me? I do. <laughs> so today I wanted to challenge not only myself, but also Lindsay and have a paraphilia off. Oh, Is that what you want to call it? Yeah. Paraphilof? Yeah. Paraphilof? Working title. Rice pilaf? Rice pilaf. Hmm? We just had dinner, Lindsay. <laughs> but before we get into the game, I think it's kind of important that we explain what a paraphilia is. Lindsay, do you happen to know what Pick me! Oh. <laughs> Lindsay! Paraphilia is um, something that's beyond what your typical or conventional cultural attraction would be. So. Things like coprophilia and chlismophilia. Um, all of these are types of attraction, sexual attraction to objects or activities or body parts. Pretty much, if it sounds like someone just sneezed, it might be a paraphilia. Coprophilia. Bless you. <laughs> that is good. So without further ado, Lindsay, are you ready for a challenge? Mm hmm <laughs> I consent. <laughs> good consent, good consent. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, I forgot the buzzer. <laughs> go, go, it's you. I believe it is being sexually attracted to a specific part. Part, and I remember it because part is part of the word. Part of? A body? Mm hmm Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for instance, the foot or the yes. hand. Knuckles. Nose. Teeth. No. Ooh, yeah. Something to chew on. Anyway, did I get it right? Yes. Ready for the second question? Yes. Oh, didn't I say that one? You might have, but I think I do that thing. And I think it's vomit. Oh. Okay, so this is where I don't specifically know, but if we break down the word I might. It's K-L-I-S-M-O. No, we could do this. Okay, Latin. Definitely don't know Latin. <laughs> Is it sexual attraction to sleeping? The love of liquids going in the anus. Oh. Sexual attraction to the love of liquids going to the oh. anus. What? Oh, okay. Being urinated in or even just getting like, like an enema. I was thinking of Santorum, but yes. Round three. Sexual attraction to biting. Sexual attraction to crying? Yes, because it has cry in it. Dak cry philia. That's how I remember it. Don't ask me why I remember you that. He studied! He studied! That is awesome! <laughs> oh well, thank you. <laughs> okay. You and I remember that because cry, cry is actually in it. Yeah. I was thinking Dak like Dracula. Like, <sighs> like vampirism. Biting. Okay, next. Next. Androphilia. <laughs> I was like, why are we supposed to know this? Oh yeah, because you did a whole episode mm -hmm. on it. Okay, Lindsay. And you. I did too. Come on, branch out. You, you know the root of this one. Don't leave <laughs> me hanging. Do you know what it is? I do, okay. but I want you to keep going. Oh, it's um, trees. 
Uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> I mean, sorry, is that right? Okay. <laughs> High five. Also, yeah. if you haven't donated to Team Trees yet, we're almost, by the time this goes up, we should hopefully have this in the bag. 20 million trees. 20 million freaking trees. Plant that seed and help it grow. Demonetize. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the fluid with the seeds. No, no, continue. Someone is really enjoying this. <laughs> Demonetize. I feel like I'm the female Christopher right now. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I wish I had taken Latin. I wish that I had studied. Studying fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sapiosexual is when you're sexually aroused by intelligence. Mm -hmm. Pro-realism, love of watching your partner have sex. Oh, it's like cuckolding. Oh. Compersion. Which is not a paraphilia, but it is a thing. Where you express the love and appreciation for when your partner's out having fun, like you're, yeah, you're, you're celebrating them. <laughs> We're not doing so well, Lindsay. <laughs> Next round. I'm having fun, that's the I, goal. Yeah, that, that's the important part. We're learning. Acrotomophilia. Christopher. It's so great though, because if they were really common ones, I would feel. Acro. Acro means without, I think, let's see. Acrobatics, <gasps> acro. Is it the love of people who have, or who don't have limbs, or missing limbs, yes! What is this that's happening because, here? How no, did you do it? The love of something without, and so, limbs are a, a very popular, like, mm -hmm. amputee yeah, fetishes yeah, yeah, yeah. are a big thing. I truthfully thought of bodies because of acrobatics. That's what I'm saying, because <laughs> <laughs> Acrobatics, I think, is the use of your limbs. So the other thing about paraphilia is, is that I do think that people will experience something, and then they will figure out a Latin prefix for it and attach it to philia. Isn't language weird? It's fascinating. Stay curious. Next one. You're doing so great. I'm getting very lucky that the, the clue is what gave it to me because I wouldn't have gotten it otherwise. Gerontophilia. Sexual attraction to people who are older. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> you just that. decided? Did you decide? Okay. Lindsay's back in the game. Next round. Attraction to writing? Writing. You studied. Is that right? Pretty close. Love of poetry. And oh. the reason I remember that, which might be offensive to some people, I imagine that metrosexual people really like coffee shops where lots of poetry and writing happens. This is great. My, he is teaching you a lot. Out. <laughs> We're having a really successful brain night. Metrosexuals wear their messenger bags mm -hmm. and they aspire to be writers but don't have jobs. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual attraction to stains. Okay, so I'm gonna go the religious route here. The sexual attraction to impaling like body parts, like putting holes in your body. Is it? St stigma? Oh my oh god! Stigma Jesus. means stain. Oh, okay, I see where like you went. Like stain, like they would paint you yellow if you did something. No, I, I literally just went the Jesus route. I was raised Catholic, thank you Jesus. We shouldn't, which way does it go? You should add a direction down to the crotch. Father, how does it go? Daddy. No, that's daddy. Oh, that's still so that. Father. Daddy. <laughs> oh, dear. Holy trainer. <laughs> Which is the name of a type of chat. <laughs> Good game, Lindsay. Yeah. I mean, I will say, I, I, I swear me. to God, <laughs> thank you, Jesus, that this is all Christopher's doing, so you can blame him. But you, I mean, you are incredibly intelligent about the, the, the DSM and paraphilias yourself. I mean, we were having a conversation about like how things have changed over the years and for the better in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So <gasps> since I couldn't tell you all these things about paraphilias, I do want to tell you Please. that in my lifetime, we switched from the DSM-4 to the DSM-5 in the DSM-5, which came out in my lifetime. They changed it so that they're now called paraphilic disorders, which means that of and by themselves, paraphilias are not 
sicknesses. It's Correct. only if it causes you prolonged stress or problems in your life and you decide that. Which I think is That's a huge. really important distinction because it's saying that people that are ethically and consensually expressing their paraphilias and not harming anyone and not causing distress in themselves are totally fine. Which yeah, and I'm glad that, that it's still in there. I'm just glad that it's changed so that it's a paraphilic disorder. It's related to this, but it's not saying that the paraphilia is a problem. It's saying that there's a disorder to that attraction. And I guess that's really the moral of the story is that, you know, sex and sexuality, while it's painted as this super scary thing that shouldn't be talked about in a lot of ways, as we talk about it more and as we become more comfortable and as we have more conversations like this where we're just having fun with the sex that we're into or that other people are into, that we're opening up the discussion and making lovely hand signs. <laughs> and making people feel welcome and valid and making sure that they have those resources to just kind of talk about sex in a fun way. So thank you. Well done. No, well well done yourself. You had, uh, you got the ones I definitely couldn't get and what is, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> But before we go, Lindsay, where can people find you and what are we doing over on your channel by the time that this comes out? <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at Sexplanations on YouTube and podcast lands. And um, we have a, a sex ed RV that goes around the country, continent. You know how to find me. I'm here on YouTube at What's a Safe Word. You can follow me at Pup Amp on all social medias. And please, 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 I cannot stress this. Go check out the video on Lindsay's channel because. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna feel dumb again. <laughs> what is, we had a lot of fun. Daddies, we answer your BDSM questions. Yes. We learn more about equipment. I get educated in my own field. Yes. And we'll see you guys next time. What's the safe word? <laughs> Bye. That was so good! That was fun. I'm sorry I won. <laughs> I really love studying paraphilias. As you should. I literally sat down Christopher and I was like, okay, here's how the slideshow thing works. Here is literally the Wikipedia article, which I'll link down below, of all the paraphilias. Go. Dog on the table, dog on the table. Dog on the table, dog on the table. Do you want to push the button? No.